The Nigerian government has disclosed plans to repatriate refugees from Chad and Cameroon to Nigeria. National Commissioner for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, IDPs, is coordinating efforts along with the United Nations Refugee Agency on the voluntary repatriation of refugees. This was disclosed by the National Commissioner for Refugees, Migrants and IDPs, Federal Commissioner Alhaji Tijani Aliwu, during a media briefing with newsmen. Our diplomatic correspondent, Ama Marcus, tells us more. National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, NCFRMI, has announced a joint effort with the United Nations High Commission for Refugees to help Nigerians displaced by insecurity return home from Cameroon and Chad. NCFRMI's Commissioner Alhaji Tijani Aliyu revealed this during a press briefing in Abuja. It was 3,000 uh, 3, households from Chad. That is about 6,000 people to be repatriated from Chad to Nigeria. And in the case of Cameroon, the numbers that we have is about 40,000 people. But however, we we'll profile because we don't have to force anybody to return to this country. Arrangement is on way in profiling those who voluntarily want to return to the country. And by the time that has been carried out, you get the accurate number of people who are to be returned from this exercise. Alhaji Tijani announced a two-month plan to begin relocating refugees who are interested in returning home, adding that the government is currently identifying the number of willing participants and will provide them with starter kits and shelter upon their return. Okay, you see, uh, we are making arrangement in liaison with the Bruno State government to ensure that uh, most of them that will be returned back to the country were taken to a skill acquisition centers. The Bruno State has a very magnificent skill acquisition centers ready for the returnees. As soon as they return, we give them some training, and then we give them a uh, startup pack at least that they can bend their life. Women cannot continue to be uh, fending for them for life. We have to do something. We have to provide durable solutions, and uh, the durable solutions that we are going to provide is one, the shelter, and then two, a startup pack for them to live there. A happy life. Regarding the UNHCR's involvement, the representative explained that they are currently in talks with the refugees to establish a legal framework for their return and also offer logistical and support services. There are other operational activities we also undertake, such as the construction of reception centers, the provision of core relief items, and a set package in addition to whatever the, the government would be doing.